Friday night on Bourbon Street, the heart of New Orleans French Quarter vibrates with the music of the South, Dixieland, jazz, rhythm and blues. The music, the food, the carnival atmosphere draws them by the thousands, locals and tourists alike. Well, they say you can go anywhere in the world and run into a Newfoundlander. And on this particular night on Bourbon Street, you'll see half a dozen. Newfoundland musicians Figgy Duff, with fiddler Emile Benoit, are among those soaking up the sights and sounds. The group is in town to perform at a music festival, but on this, the night before, they take time to relax and get into a New Orleans frame of mind. <laughs> Of course, no trip to New Orleans would be complete without sampling the local vittles, like raw oysters. Right down your throat. What about you, Pamela? No way. <laughs> no? Before it became a state, Louisiana was a colony of France and the French influence remained strong, much to the delight of Emile Benoit. A native of Newfoundland's port of port Peninsula, he's at home in the French Quarter, yet flexible enough to try something completely different when given a chance. Night's impromptu concert was a great warm up for this, the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. A patch of asphalt gives way to a real stage, ten in all, spanning dozens of acres, dozens of musical styles. <laughs> The festival is a place to display southern wear and southern fare. And that's when you realize you've left the north far behind. Barbecue yeah, alligator, Broadway, green rice. I need a gator. Give me a gator. Yeah. Give me a gator. Give me a gator. Well, barbecued almost like chicken, a little different. <laughs> Untempted by roasting reptiles, the musicians from Newfoundland content themselves with a tour of the ground. And 5,000 miles from home, surrounded by thousands of strangers, the group discovers it's a pretty small world after all. Well, I uh, worked in Lewisport for uh, four years as a teacher before I came to Mississippi. Really? Lewisport? Yeah, of course. Oh, that's very nice. And speaking of Newfoundland... We've never been down this part of the States before, and we almost feel guilty being here in all this heat and everybody back in Newfoundland. But <laughs> no, whatever. <laughs> but guilt aside, this was an opportunity not to be missed. In addition to the main performances, there were musical workshops like this one in fiddling. I had that vining in the soul so much. Emil appeared with Dewey Balsa, a famous Cajun fiddler who performed the music for the recent movie The Big Easy. 
but it was Emil who stole the show. Every spring, the musical eyes of America are focused on the Jazz and Heritage Festival. This year, more than a quarter of a million people will hear more than 4,000 musicians. Jazz, folk, Dixieland, gospel, Cajun, and this year, for the first time, traditional Newfoundland music. It's on this day, called the Spirit of Louisiana, that Biggie Duff and Emile Benoit will introduce the South to the Spirit of Newfoundland. Well, take a picture of me looking bewildered. <laughs> but I'm really bewildered now. <laughs> Two o'clock, half an hour to showtime. Just long enough to set up, find the right output. Okay, the electric guitar is mic'd. The current. And is that over here stays yeah. right or yeah, stays right? <laughs> Get in tune and add a few finishing touches. Right, right. Well, I'd certainly like to uh, get you know Newfoundland music across because most of the music here today is you know it's a sort of Cajun bluegrass. I think our stuff is going to stand out, you know, and uh, hopefully people will like it. I will sing you. What will you sing me? I will sing you one song. What will you one be? On the one that's on the long paper moves of these oh, Come and I will sing you. What will you sing me? I will sing you two of. What will the two be? Two of them were little white bears, cool the darling me. And I hold on the one that's on the long paper moves of these oh, Come and I will sing you. What will you sing me? I will sing you five of. What will the five be? Five is one by the little boat. Traditional Newfoundland tunes like the Ten Commandments, She'd Like the Swallow, and The Woman of Labrador take on a new perspective in the southern air. Woman of Labrador, on your cabin door, a long, long time since he lived his life for world and left to a Then, once again, all eyes turn to the wiry French fiddler from port to port. All the way from Black Dog Brook, Newfoundland, would you please welcome Emile Benoit. stole their hearts with his first number, composed in honor of his trip to New Orleans. The audience shifted moves with him as he sang the soft French ballad. And they rose to the occasion with the final foot stompers. And what did you 
think of this music today? I love it. <laughs> I love them. I had not heard them before. It was great, wasn't it? <laughs> it was wonderful. What we're hearing here is 100 years ago what was still in Canada, you know, but just great music, accordion music, fiddle. I think that it's good that they recognize that people that are older musicians with more experience often have more heart and more emotion in their music and that the only way that we have that music is as it's passed down. So to keep that, it's kind of like keeping scripture. And the praise flowed both ways as band members were in turn inspired by the response from the audience. This is great. I mean, you, you can't help but get off on the audience response and it, and it was there today. When you uh, keep on playing in your own environment for a long, long time, people get tired of you, especially when there's a limited population. They don't, you don't have the people to, to keep on coming to see you. So, you know, it takes you a long time to develop your craft. So you have to move around with it and go to different places, get fresh ears, you know, fresh experiences. Everybody had their style and everybody is is something. They're all happy with what they, they're, they're playing. And people, everybody is uh, happy with what they hear and the, what they see. Yeah. And then you go home and then you have a big story about it. The musicians hope their performance at this festival will open the door for many other such events. In the meantime, this trip will be good for a few yarns around a few kitchen stoves on cold winter nights. Singing in the southern sun seems like just a pleasant memory. For Here and Now, I'm Deborah Collins.